you did this fantastic video with with Alex Honnold where you went out and you and you free soloed with him. It's one of the most gripping videos <laughs> that I've ever seen. But the plan going in was not to free solo. Is that right? Yeah, we drove from LA to um, Vegas, and on the way there, that's when he told me, like the day before, that's when he was like, "No, we should we should do something else. We should not go to the gym. We should." Do some easy scrambling instead and then he sent me some pictures and i was initially i was like no nah, i'm not really up for it like uh, i've just been out in the sun wrestling marines i was so sunburned and everything I was like, I'm not going free soloing tomorrow. But then he called me and he was like, yeah, you should really think about this. It will feel very easy for you. He sent me pictures and he was like, we should just go out there, look at the route, and then you'll decide. I'm sure it's going to be fine for you. I was like, oh, Jesus. Uh, and, and the I, thing is, like, if someone else said, said that to me, I would be okay. I would be like, okay, yeah, he's probably right. It's probably going to be really easy and uh, chill for me. But knowing that it's Alex, like, I was like, Nah, it's probably not so chill. Because I was thinking we were going like sport climbing or bouldering or something. Totally. And then all of a sudden you sent me like a text message of this like 200 meter blank looking wall. You know, I was like, man, you always go to gyms with people yeah. and you can always go sport climbing with people. But this is something that, yeah, yeah. that is, sort of, I don't want to say unique to me, but very few people will, will take you on an adventure like this. I, know. I was like, this is this would be cool. Yeah. And I just feel very confident that of all the things you could do here, you'll feel good on this. Yeah. Not to say that you'll feel great, but if you feel bad on this, you'd feel worse on everything else. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, you know, we're taking you to the best possible thing to solo. Okay. And if, if this isn't the one for you, then you know what? You just probably shouldn't be <laughs> shouldn't soloing. Shouldn't be soloing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did he have to so, convince you to do it? Like, did he have to talk you into it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I initially said no. And... Uh, yeah, and I wasn't really sure that I was going to do it, but the thing is also I was a little bit afraid of going there because I feel like then I was already so committed. From a distance, the route looked okay, but then when we got underneath the cliff, it was like it looked pretty intimidating, and we saw people like struggling, hanging, and they had ropes, you know, <laughs> hanging above us, and I was like, oh shit. Oh my god. Um, and it's also if I mean if I climbed it already on a rope once, I would would be much more likely to say yes. But I didn't do like I had never even been climbing in that area, so I didn't even know the rock or anything. And Alex also said that there was going to be a lot of chalk. There was zero chalk. <laughs> I think definitely I'm a little bit intimidated by the exposure mm -hmm. when it feels like it's straight down like a 150 meters. Mm -hmm. It feels more real. Even like though is, it's totally irrational, you know? I think the important thing for soloing something like this is not to think about whether it's going to get easier or harder or think about what's to come or what mm. you've already done. It's just like one move at a time. Be like, this move is easy. This move is easy. Yeah. This move is easy. Like there aren't or, any moves where you have to like jump sideways to something. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's all no, very I hope, stable. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. This is how you coach somebody into free soloing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope we don't kill Magnus. Yeah. All right, y'all, just a quick break here from the man, the myth, the legend, Magnus, to tell you about Magnus, or really Mag Dust. I've been trying this chalk out for the past six weeks now, and I gotta tell you, I've been loving it. It feels fantastic on my fingers, whether I'm struggling on the moon board, the set problems at the gym, or on my project out at the Red. This chalk feels great. It performs really, really well. It's at the top of so many lists of the best chalk out there. And it's really affordable. You can score yourself a bundle, cover your entire season. It's not going to break the bank. Tons of pros are using it. It performs well. You can afford it. And check this out. Hit that link below right there. Enter to win a year's supply of Mag Dust chalk. They're also making liquid chalk now and chalk balls. The Mag Dust empire is expanding. And I think you should check it out. I really love this stuff. Now, let's get back to Magnus himself. It's a five nine climb, right? It's like a, like a yeah, five it's super easy. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a five fifteen climber, so like it's it's certainly well within your physical ability. But yeah. obviously, climbing hundreds of feet without a rope totally changes the game. And you know, we, I I did a video on this after I talked with Alex Honnold. Yeah, you know, so, your yeah. your video is obviously incredibly popular. A lot of the a lot of the comments, at least that mm -hmm. I got, were people saying, you know. Alex was reckless. It was super unfair for him to, you know, to bring um, 
Magnus out there. Mm -hmm. When you look back on that, um, what is your take on that? You know, these a lot of people came to your defense, you know, in the comment section here. Yeah, people, yeah. people love you, Magnus. Um, they <laughs> felt that, you know, Alex maybe had had gone a little bit yeah. too far in inviting you out there. Are, are they fair in that comment or what, what's your take on it? No, I don't think so at all. I, I mean, that was my decision. I mean, obviously, I'm a grown man. I know. And I also I've climbed for 25 years and I free solo with Alex before. So I yeah. know. I mean, yeah, it's. It, I, it's not something that he forced me into. Uh, I definitely, I was surprised by how much he was pushing me um, also on the phone and stuff. But in the end, I was never going to let him uh, take that decision for me. Uh, so, and he, I think he saw that. Otherwise he wouldn't have done it. But, um, and also as he says, like, if you're either a 515 or a V15 climber, uh then that's when he will take you out free soloing. Um, I don't but know he, if I agree with that completely because I feel like when it's that easy, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's more about keeping your nerves under control. Mm. Feeling good up in You've made it. here, but the next part it looks pretty steep. Let it in, relax. And also let watching you with the camera. Does that make it more scary or less scary? So far, less scary actually. Oh yeah, okay, cool. It's, uh, just seeing how casual you are. There was never, yeah, I, there was never any chance I would fall off. But there was, there was one point where I was actually a little bit, I couldn't find any holes or anything, but, um, I think it was mainly just because I was stressing that, yeah. Well, I know that I he mean, had was... utmost confidence in you as he as he relayed to me yeah. in our conversation that he said that, you know, you may have been stressed, but there's a big difference between being stressed and, you know, being about to fall off. But it also yeah. did look like there were a couple sections in there that um, gave you pause or at least, you know, were, were a challenge um or you were kind of stressing out about a little bit more than yeah. others and and what what comes to mind you just mentioned one of them there like what what was that point where you, where things well, got the weird? first the the first part was the crack i think yeah <laughs> just because i wasn't really expecting anything like that you know the holes were small and also crack i thought he knew that i was bad at crack climbing like he should have warned me <laughs> and if he didn't warn me about that what else is there you know this is the first pitch already sure uh is there something else like this like 200 meters further up this is kind of scary though yeah yeah it's okay you just build your feet and like take your time find the good pockets Yeah, nice. See, like, just, yeah, see, like, that edge is still a good edge. Yeah. Like, it's great. Just, you can, I don't trust it. That's yeah, but you, you can. That's, like, bomber. So, already then, I was, like, not really doubting whether or not I could do it, but I was <laughs> starting to doubt him, uh, I was say. Right. Um, so, that is probably the first part. And then there was a second time when... We had to turn off the camera because I was getting kind of stressed. I was a little bit off the route and there was no chalk or anything. And I felt like I had like four pretty bad holes, like bad feet, bad hands, but they were all okay. But none of them were, were like really good. And then I was starting to stress. But um, yeah, no, the whole way it was more just keeping the nerves under control and thinking about something else and almost pretending like you had a rope. Because I know that there's no chance I would fall on this if I had a rope. So mm -hmm. the only, the only, the only way I can fall off this is if I, kind of, freak out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was freaking out when I was watching it, and I've seen it a few times now. Um, I think we can all put ourselves in this position of, you know, what would it be like to be that high, and and, it's it's hard to imagine. I mean, I I think it's you know probably the scariest thing that could. That I could ever probably yeah. do, uh, but you did keep it together, and it's interesting that you said you you had to turn the the cameras off for a minute there because, uh, at least in the past, having the cameras mm -hmm. on you has helped you to perform. 
but was yeah. it just such a mental game that um, the cameras started to becoming, it started to add extra pressure? It was more that Alex was holding the camera physically and when he was doing that, he couldn't really focus on helping me. He was more focused on filming. Right. So I, I, I had to tell him to put it down so that he could help me better.